Today we're going to go over the Total Connect uh, 2.0 app for Honeywell security. So if you have the Total Connect 2.0. This first video is just going to be over some of the basic um, buttons on there. So we're going to cover a lot of the icons, the tabs we can click on. And then I'll go into some of the uh, other ones in more detail. I'll do individual videos on those. Uh, that way you don't have to watch 30 minutes of how to do every single thing just to figure out how to do one thing. So I'll do an overall um, basic click through, show you what to do. So if you're kind of familiar with the system, um, you can add stuff or do different features. If you're not familiar with the system, um, again, I'll do individual videos on individual things. Now, hopefully whoever you had for your service actually showed you how to use this system and it'll make life a lot easier. If they didn't, um, you need to call them back and make them go over everything with you. So basically when you log into your Total Connect app, you should come up with a screen like this. Basically arm, uh, stay, arm away, and it shows you whether you're armed right now or disarmed. So currently I'm disarmed. Um, if I was away from the house, I could hit arm stay or arm away, and basically arm the system depending on where I was. Now if you arm in stay mode, and you don't open and close a door in the house, the system will automatically go to stay mode because it doesn't think you left the house. If this happens on your Total Connect app, you need to call your installer back. There's an option in one of the menus when he's setting up your programming to turn off that feature. So basically the Total Connect will arm in away mode and not go to stay mode automatically. Now something else a lot of people will notice, when you turn this on, anytime you make any changes in your panel, or anytime the panel doesn't update, um, you'll have to do the sync. So it says sync required, sync now. So if you hit sync now when that comes up, Basically what that's doing, that's going to go to your, um, whether you've got a tuxedo touch or whether you've got a VAM module, basically what's going to happen is it's going to go to that and it's going to download any new information, any changes that have been made since the last time you were on the app. Now once your panel sync is done, if you click on the activity, you'll see automation sync success, zone sync success. Uh, if for some reason that would fail, it would come up and it would say zone failed, uh, try again. Um, sometimes it takes two tries, don't know why, but for the most part, one try should get you everywhere you need to be. I'm going to go back to the house now on the bottom left. It takes me back to my home page. Now on the top right you have two other icons here. They don't really tell you what those are. The left one with the little parentheses around it, that's your zone list. So if you click on that, It'll come up and it gives you the list of the zones and the status of them. So for some reason one of those was open. Let's say you were trying to arm the alarm and the front door was open or something. It would show you basically what was open and what was closed. There's a little button up here at the top right. It looks kind of like a little flag. If you click on that, you can filter it by um, low batteries, alarms, troubles, faults. So that little icon on the top right is a filter. So I'm going to hit back. So I'm going to go back to the home page. This is the keypad, so if you want to actually see the number pad, you can click on that, and that's actually like a number pad. So if you've got a uh, 6150, 6160 uh, digital keypad or number keypad somewhere in the house, this works just like that. So I'm going to close that. Once you have it synced to your area, uh, your zip code, it'll pull up the weather forecast for you down here. Now on the top right, there's a little icon. looks like a little TV with a little phone by it or a little TV in a square. If you click on that, that pulls up your uh, devices that you can pair into here. So if you have a uh, Honeywell Home thermostat that's Wi-Fi compatible, Chamberlain LiftMaster, August door locks, um, and eventually they'll add other devices. Um, so they're constantly upgrading this and they're adding more and more automation stuff into it. Right now these are the available devices available for Total Connect. If you have any more questions, contact your local uh, dealer. Under the More tab, you've got Scenes, Profile, Location, Settings, Help, Rate Us, About Us, Dealer Messages. Again, I'll go over each one of these individually, but Scenes, this is where you create your scenes um, to have lights turn on, off, locks, unlock, lock. The Profile, if you click on My Profile, this basically takes you into um, your name, um, type of user you are, whether you're a master user, whether you're a sub-user. Um, whether you can sync your codes or not, um, email notifications, text messages, if they want text messages sent to them. 
Click on my location, gives you the address, um, shows you the devices that are attached to it. You can sync users, you can sync the panels, and it shows you whether you're on an LTE, whether you're on a GSM, uh, what type of uh, connection you have. Uh, settings, uh, again, notification settings, Alexa settings, if you want Alexa enabled. You click on that and you can sync your Alexa account to it. Uh, geofencing basically is when you create a mark around your house and when you drive away from your house, it will tell you you left the house and didn't lock your alarm. Users, this is where you can add more users if you want to. So you can create different people. Um, you can create your own codes for them. Uh, never given one your main code, uh, never given your main login. You can create logins for them also. Uh, face ID, that obviously enables Face ID if you've got an um, iPhone that has Face ID. And navigation order, you can change whether you want the um, icons across the bottom or top in what order you want them in. We're going to go back again. So help is obviously, you click on that and you can ask questions. Uh, Honeywell doesn't give you a whole lot of home user support. Uh, but there's a bunch of generally asked questions, rate us um, about the uh, app, shows you what version you're running. Um, every now and then if you're having a problem, and like would you call me up and you're having a problem, I would probably ask you for the app version you're running. That way I know what you're doing. There might be an update or something you haven't got yet. Uh, dealer messages, basically if um, uh, your dealer has a problem, a question, an update or something, they can send you messages through the panel. Sign out, obviously a sign out. Go back to the home, and that's pretty much the overview of the Total Connect app. Certain things you can do, certain things you can't do. Again, I'm going to do a video on individual sections, showing you how to do different things on it. I'm not going to show you the obvious, like arm away, arm stay, because you just push the button. And then it'll say system arm, you hit disarm. And that was the Honeywell Total Connect 2.0 app. Um, again, that was just a basic overview, what the icons do on the front. And I'm going to do some more videos and upload them. They'll all be under one uh, playlist, so you can click on them. And like I said, I'm going to try to keep them under a couple minutes each. Uh, setting up the scenes and stuff may take a little bit longer just because um, I want to explain to you how to do them a little bit better. Uh, but certain things, I'm going to try to keep the videos under two minutes. That way they're fast and easy and they'll only be on one thing at a time.